Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing my everyday quick 10 minute makeup look. This is a look that I've been wearing a lot recently. I've been learning to embrace my skin and let my skin breathe. And this makeup look really focuses on glowy skin. I'm also really excited to share some new products that I've added to my routine that are pretty much helping me keep a summer glow. If you've watched my previous beauty videos, you probably already know how much of a fan of the Origins Ginseng range I am. So I can't tell you how excited I am that they have brought out a Into the Glow Brightening Serum. The serum is infused with vitamin C which really helps to brighten the look of dull skin and it keeps your skin looking really hydrated and brighter. I have absolutely been loving this serum. It's really lightweight, so it's perfect for makeup. And I've noticed that it really helps to reduce the look of pores and my skin instantly feels hydrated. I have lost count of how many Origins Ginseng eye creams I have been through. It is my absolute favorite eye cream. It really helps to lift the under eyes and make it look brighter. And it helps to counteract any darkness. So it's perfect for pretty much every day, but especially those days when your eyes just feel a little bit heavy and you look a little bit tired. You guys probably already know this, this is one of my favourite moisturisers. It's the Origins Ginseng Hydrating Energy Boosting Cream. I love the cream formula because I like something a bit richer in texture and this really helps to brighten my skin. It is so nourishing and so hydrating and especially since I won't be wearing foundation, I want my skin to look its best. And I'm going to finish off my skin with the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Mist. This is really great for a little last minute glow and it was a holy grail in summer. Now moving on to makeup, I also have a couple of new products that I have been using and I'm starting with the Glossier Future Dew. I was a little bit on the fence about this when I first got it but I am really falling in love with it now because I'm loving glowy skin and I'm loving just letting my skin breathe. I do have a bit of discoloration around my skin so I'm taking a darker concealer and I'm going to conceal any areas of pigmentation. There are other ways that you can counteract any darkness and pigmentation, maybe with an orange corrector, but personally I just want it to feel really light and I don't want to build up too much product. I've loved this concealer for a while, it's the Glossier Stretch Concealer. It's really light but it's also buildable so it's actually pretty good if you have darker under eyes. I have found that it still works for me. It's the perfect everyday concealer because it is so lightweight. I love that it has a bit of shine and a bit of dew to it because it helps to counteract any darkness. And I will put it on my eyelids as well because it's quite dark on there. I needed a little bit more help this day so I've added a bit more concealer and just built up the coverage. And I love this brush, it's from IT Cosmetics and it's double sided and I use this brush for pretty much everything for foundation and concealing. I also have a bit of redness on my nose so I'm just going to conceal that. I'm taking the Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm. This is a very intimidating looking colour, but when it's blended in, it looks beautiful. I used to really scare away from wearing brighter colours on my cheeks, but now I'm absolutely loving it. And this colour is perfect for every day. It really brightens up my skin and it just gives a really healthy glow. Another new product is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. You guys know I am obsessed with the Estee Lauder one, but this one is amazing. It's so lightweight, it's very natural, and it really gives a perfect summer glow. And I try to do a bit of a nose contour with it. Moving on to brows, I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow. This is my go-to, it's so easy to use. It's very fill proof if you're new to filling in your brows. I feel like this is a good place to start. I'm always doing my makeup in a hurry and I like to keep my makeup routine as minimal and as quick as possible. And this really helps me to do that. I pretty much follow the natural shape of my brow and I'll just continue to brush with the spoolie end just so it makes sure it looks blended. I finally had my eyebrows done after the longest time, especially with lockdown. Um, so I'm really happy to have clean eyebrows again, but I do still have some sparser areas that I like to fill in. And if I make a mistake, I literally just rub it out with my hands. I do like my eyebrows to be quite defined as well. So I make sure I focus a lot on the arch and make it as sharp as possible. I was obsessed with this in summer. It's the Bioterry Eyeshadow in Immaculate Light and it is a beautiful sheer eyeshadow stick. It's perfect for every day. I've worn it on occasions because it's buildable so you can keep building up that color and you can really pack it on. But I love how much it brightens up my eyes. 
I'm then taking the Urban Decay 24 7 eye pencil. I have the colour Whiskey and I will literally just line my eyes and wing it out on the corners. This is one of my favourite eye pencils because it glides on so beautifully. It's really soft and it's so easy to use and I can literally just rub away any mistakes that I've made. I also love to use this and smudge it out with a brush but I wanted a bit more definition today. I'm taking my favourite mascara which is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. If you guys watch my channel you'll know I use this a lot. It adds a lot of volume but it also adds definition which is my favourite combination in a mascara. I also like how dark it makes my eyelashes look so it really helps to add a bit of volume and drama. I also like to apply mascara on my bottom lashes. I know this isn't for everyone but I personally really love it because it helps to define my eyes. To reduce any shine around my skin, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. I think I have it in the colour medium and I'm just going to powder around any areas where I get a bit oily or if there's any excessive shine. Onto my go-to lip combination, I use the Natural Collection Lip Pencil in Espresso and I'll go ahead and I'll line my lips with that. I do try to follow the natural shape of my lips but what I'm ultimately looking for is just a bit of definition and to make my lips look fuller. I'm then taking this lip pencil by MAC, it's the colour Spice, this is my go-to and it has been for years and I'll fill in my lips using that, it is the perfect warm nude for everyday. I know it feels like a lot but finally I'm using the Glossier Generation G lipstick in Cake, this is amazing, this is what I'll carry around with me, it's so lightweight and so comfortable to wear. And that's my makeup look complete, it's one of those looks that you can definitely do on the go, it's so easy and so quick to do and I feel like it's just minimal fuss. As we're heading into autumn, I'm wearing a checkered print blazer. This is from Under the Stories. I've been obsessed with it recently. It's absolutely perfect for this season. For my perfume, I'm using a Suzanne perfume. I absolutely love this. It's so fresh and it's so light, so it's perfect for every day. And that's the look complete. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one.